Hey guys, it's time to get suited up. We are going to make some quick, easy, homemade dinners for when you are in a pinch. First up is chicken Alfredo. What you wanna do is get a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store and shred up the meat. Be careful not to have any bones because that is a choking hazard, so I always double check mine once I shred it, just to make sure no bones got inside there. Okay, now we are going to place our chicken on the stove. Here I have some leftover bacon grease from the morning, so I am just tossing my chicken in that, and I'm going to add some buttermilk ranch seasoning along with that. Um, to me, that always adds some great flavor to the chicken. And then, yeah, I like to just cook the chicken till it is warmed all the way through. And then I will set that aside for the next step. Okay, here I have boiled some penne pasta. I'm throwing it into my cast iron pan. Okay, since we are in a pinch and in a hurry, we are going to use jarred Alfredo sauce. Trust me, I like homemade much better, but I sure as heck can make some jarred sauce taste pretty darn good when I am in a hurry. We are gonna add two jars because I like it extra saucy. And once we dump out the jars, we're gonna add a little bit of milk into each jar and shake it up just to get all the excess sauce out of the jar. And like I said, I like it extra saucy when it comes to my pasta and my Alfredo. Hence why I'm using two jars. Now we're gonna add some black pepper and some garlic salt. Okay, now we are going to add some dried Italian seasonings into the mixture as well. Once you've added all your extra seasonings, you're going to want to give that all a good stir. Here I am going in adding that milk into the pasta jars to get that excess sauce out, giving it a really good shake. Pour it out, look at that, perfect, voila! And you have more sauce. Okay, now that you have your seasonings added, you wanna make sure you get everything mixed up really well before you add your chicken in. I always like to add extra seasonings, especially when it comes to Alfredo sauce. To me, it just never has enough flavor when it is store-bought, but you definitely can spruce it up and make it extra tasty with just a couple spices. All right, here we are adding in our chicken. Okay, here I have the broccoli. We are going to make a chicken broccoli alfredo. I don't always put broccoli in it, but if I have it, I will because I do really love broccoli in alfredo. Um, and it's a great way to get those extra nutrients in. 
So we got to cut it all up, get it cleaned, and then we are going to steam it and add it to our Alfredo. Funny, you're hoping mommy make dinner. No, I would just want that. This <laughs> delicious dinner. You want chicken nuggets? I usually have a box of frozen garlic bread on hand, but I did not this time. So I just took some French bread that I had from the bakery and I added some garlic butter to it. This garlic butter you can buy over by the bakery section in Walmart. And oh my goodness, guys, this uh, garlic butter is so delicious. It made really good garlic bread. I just put some on the garlic toast and then I cooked it on top of the stove in a little pan. And yeah, just cooked it on one side and then flipped it and it came out so good. These little garlic toasts were very tasty. <laughs> and there's my little guy enjoying himself a slice of bread in the background. My little guy, Nia's, likes to hang out with me in the kitchen, especially when I am preparing meals. I think it is adorable that he has such an interest in food and cooking. I try to include him as much as I can, and I also try to be as patient with him as I can because I really enjoy that he has an interest in the food that I cook. I think it is really cute, and I like having him in there helping me. All right, now our broccoli is all cooked and steamed. We are just gonna, you know, drain that and add it to the pasta. Like I said, this is a quick meal, guys. You can make it in less than 30 minutes and it tastes so good. Start to finish, look at that. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, here we are plating it up with the slice of garlic toast on the side. And that is a perfect meal, especially for these cold fall days or cozy winter day. Just something to warm your belly and your heart and your family will thank you for it because I mean, who doesn't like chicken Alfredo? I also popped these little pumpkin cheesecake cookies in the oven. They're just pre-made by Pillsbury and those are so delicious. Highly recommend. I would totally buy these again. They were so good. doing some cleaning, tidying up, and I decided to make some goulash. Inside my kitchen, I am preparing some goulash. So it's American goulash. So pretty much we have fresh garlic. So we have fresh garlic, onion, hamburger meat, and pepper. And then we're about to add some fresh tomatoes from the garden. So I just thought I would share this with you guys. It's a really good comfort food, a really good homey recipe, especially for one of these rainy days. So let's add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so I have cut up some tomatoes. We're gonna add those to our goulash. Don't mind me, I took a bath today, a relaxing bath, and I decided I just didn't want no makeup on or anything because I'm not going anywhere right now and I'm just like, doing some cleaning up and stuff around the house. So yeah, I figured that I don't need to wear all that makeup, let my skin breathe, you know. I am wearing freaking Christmas pajamas. And yeah, Leah's wearing Christmas pajamas and she's watching, what are you watching? So to Tokyo. Yeah, it's a really good show. I mean, that's a really good movie. So she's just like enjoying her fall break and relaxing and watching a movie Outside. that I picked out for her because it is a classic. I love Zootopia. And yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna stir this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the tomatoes added to the goulash. 
there they are. So now we have, like I said, we started with the ground meat and that got most of the way cooked. I added in the peppers and the onions and then I added in some fresh garlic, which I think I'm gonna add a little more fresh garlic because I only did one clove and it was a pretty big clove. Um, I'm gonna do some more and yeah. I also added in the tomatoes. They look so good. Tomatoes. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so I just added seasonings. I did Montreal steak seasoning, garlic, uh, garlic salt, onion powder. And then I have this one I got from Shipshawana. Um, it's an Amish one, and it is called Mrs. Hearts. Um, salt free seasoning it's really good um, what does it have it has like peppers onion basil celery salt parsley red pepper mustard seed marjoram coriander cumin it has like everything it's really good um, I put that on like everything potatoes meat you name it but yeah so we got all of that stirring it up right now and then I'm gonna make the noodles I'll show you guys what I am also adding two cans of the Hunt's garlic and herbs sauce I really like this sauce um, for the goulash. I think it tastes good. Honestly, I use just different stuff all the time. I usually never use like a set certain brand or a set item. I just use like whatever I have on hand. It just goes in there. So this is really good. I like it extra saucy. So I'm doing two of these in with it. Okay, we are gonna use the organic rotini macaroni noodles for our goulash um i just like these i feel like the little spirals just like pick up all the goodness when you go to eat it like the onions and the peppers and the sauce the tomatoes i feel like it kind of just all gets intertwined um and i don't know to me these are the best so this is what i like to use i know some people use like regular macaroni noodles but these to me are hands down the best Okay, so while I am waiting for my noodles to boil, I am seasoning some steaks up that we are gonna have for dinner tomorrow. I'm gonna use some adobo seasoning, and I'm gonna use some steak seasoning and some fresh garlic, and I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Um, probably throw in some Worcestershire sauce as well. Okay, so I have everything in here. Tomorrow I have to clean house for Jackie and I just like to try and stay ahead of the game because I try to cook dinner almost every night that I can. So by me having this meat season, like this really helps me out a lot because all I gotta do is slap these on the grill and whip up some quick sides and yes, dinner will be ready. These have fresh garlic and with them steak seasoning, adobo seasoning, and instead of Worcestershire, I actually changed my mind and did a little bit of Italian seasoning. So yeah, I'm gonna put these in the fridge overnight so they can get nice and deliciously seasoned. Let that all soak in. Probably gonna make like a side salad and like some baked potatoes with it as the side. So I think that would be good. And then maybe like some bread if I have it. That's not a big deal, but yep, that's what I'm gonna make for tomorrow. Okay, we are pouring in our rotini pasta. Okay, and then let's check over here on our goulash sauce, the meat, the chunky onions and peppers, the garlic. It's gonna be so good. And then the tomatoes have cooked down really nicely into the sauce. I'm just gonna clean up really quick while all of that is cooking and the noodles are boiling.
Okay guys, so we are going to empty out our pasta. We gotta drain the pasta. It is all done boiling. I got my whole kitchen cleaned up while the pasta was boiling and sweat. I just have to sniff it really quick. I'm gonna do a quick sniffer. All right, but let's go put this in with our Okay, here we go. Dump our noodles in with our goulash. Okay, now we just gotta stir it all in. This is a perfect meal for cold, rainy weather. Nice and hearty and filling. I eat it just the way it is, but some people like to top it with Parmesan or cheese. That's what my hubby does, but I like to just eat it as it is. And it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, so good. It's like so fresh and so comforting, delicious. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, don't forget to enjoy.